in action. Hi, this is Lori. This is Peter. And we're coming to you from SoFi Stadium because we're, yes. we're stuck in the parking lot after the Chargers game. Um, and we're here, but so we decided while we're waiting to try to get out, we're stuck, we're trapped in, we can't even back out right now, to do a review of... The Abyss. The Abyss. Uh, the Abyss, this is a throwback review because The Abyss came out, and I can't look at my notes on my phone because we're recording with it. Yeah. Came out about 1980... what? It was, was it that long ago? Yeah, it was in the 80s, late 80s. Oh. Between 1986 and 1989. Okay. I think closer to 1989. And it was James Cameron's film um, after Terminator and Aliens mm -hmm. and Piranha 2. <laughs> He, he did Piranha 2? I think he wrote it or something like oh, that. Okay. Anyway, so we decided the 4K release came out uh, just about last month. And mm -hmm. I've been a fan of this movie. I was a big fan of the movie in the 80s when it came mm -hmm. out. I really, It's one of my favorite James Cameron movies, but mm -hmm. I haven't watched it in about 30 years. Mm -hmm. And when you saw it way back when, what did you think? Well, when I saw it originally way back when. Yeah, I'm going to tilt this a little more. I did in. not enjoy it. Okay. I just thought it was okay. Why did they make it? Okay. I watched it now. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. It's kind of like for me, but one of the last of the really top-notch James Cameron movies. Mm -hmm. Which isn't to say he hasn't made good movies since then. Uh, but I have I haven't found his movies since then to be as rewatchable. Right. Like, I, I've i seen The Abyss a lot, a lot of times. I've seen Terminator a lot. I've seen Terminator 2, and I've seen Aliens a lot. Um, mm -hmm. His movies outside of those. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. I, I haven't watched uh, Abyss until we now. We just watched it. Um, since the first time. It was the first time you've seen it since. But I, I've uh, always, I've watched a lot of his Terminator movies. Right, right. And you know, so, we also, uh, True Lies also came out for a day. Yes. And you, love, True Lies. love True Lies. That was a fun movie, but I've probably yeah. only seen it once or twice. So, yes. so at the same time. Anyway, so The Abyss Revisiting. You want to go, and you want to expand upon your thoughts about why you liked it this time versus the original? Yeah, I, I, I it almost looked like to me like a totally different movie mm -hmm. than I remembered, mm -hmm. and um, there was a lot of action, and and uh, during this viewing, I was very black. You were very black. Yeah, I, I talked to the screen a lot. <laughs> I'm wearing my Chargers hat on, <laughs> but you talked to you talk back to the screen. Yeah. Like, no, don't go there. Don't go in yeah. there. Don't go in there. Yeah. I had to bail on you in the second half of the movie. I had a family emergency to take care of, but yeah. you got to watch the rest of it. And then I went back and watched the remaining like a yes. day later. Um, so I, I enjoyed revisiting this movie. It's mm -hmm. still, all the good stuff is still very good. Mm -hmm. This was the director's edition. So there's added scenes, which I, I was aware of. Like this could have been a three hour movie back then, mm -hmm. but they cut a lot out. And so it's, it was, it was you know, always curious about that um, and revisiting. And mm -hmm. I have to see, was it worth adding those scenes back in? Um, I'm going to say no, not really. Well, me, yeah. I, I don't know what you they don't, added in. You don't know what they I added don't, in. I don't really remember the and, movie. Honestly, there were scenes there that I'm like, okay, some scenes like I remember verbatim. Like I, I can I can recite the line still mm -hmm. after not seeing it for like 25, 30 years. But the uh, some of the newer scenes are like, is that a new scene? I can't quite tell. I think that is. Really, it kind of just gives um, early on. There's more kind of interaction with the crew of the oil rig and maybe the uh, military guys and. Yeah, I need to go who starred in this movie. Anyway, I'll go down that list in a minute. Um, so there was just like little scenes, mm -hmm. um, which actually were okay to add. The uh, black lady, she plays the character one night. She had more scenes added mm -hmm. back in, you know, which is kind of sucks because, oh, damn, she had a lot of scenes cut out of the movie. Cause well, I tell you. She's the, the only black person in the movie. Yes. <laughs> besides Mary Elizabeth Washingtonio. Where but uh, <laughs> see, see, which, <laughs> seeing the abyss again, I blaming? went and saw uh, Alien. 
Oh, you watched Alien. But Alien isn't by James... The first one's not by James Cameron. Right. But I remember that, too. I did not... As much as everybody said Alien was a fantastic movie, uh -huh. I didn't think it you was. Didn't, you didn't think it was one? Way no, back or way still back. all this time later? Way back, way back then. Uh-huh. And... Uh, I, I looked at Alien again. And I said, "Actually, that was a pretty good movie." Yeah, that's a great movie to me. Yeah. Yeah. So, but so getting back to the Abyss, mm -hmm. um, I thought you know some of the scenes added. I don't know. They they may add a little bit. Uh, you know, I I appreciate that that one character kind of gets more scenes and more a little more development. Well, but for me, yeah, she's not I, really I, integral to the whole. I totally thing. saw a new movie. Okay. Oh. Then uh, the <coughs> kind of the biggest disappointment to me was the scenes of the aliens that gets added on at the end. Yes. So. And, and I was like, oh, that's weird. Yeah. Because I don't remember that. Okay. Yeah. So there was they some were stuff they, they did yeah. add in to that because that was the kind of the biggest criticism of the movie mm -hmm. was the alien subplot. Mm -hmm. doesn't really it's there's not enough of it to kind of mm -hmm. feel like how it meshes together mm -hmm. if it was just the drama about people on the oil rig mm -hmm. and the nuclear sub went down and they had to rescue it and there was a threat of a you know just the whole drama between the military mm -hmm. guys and recovering the 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 um the warhead yes and that all was, of that that stuff, was big to me yeah all of that stuff was fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the, the, yeah, there's the big message <coughs> of the movie because the, the overarching that war is bad. We're talking about Cold War. Right. You know, the end of the Cold War, which we both grew up in. Mm -hmm. And it, understand that, yeah, under where the fear of that was a real thing yes. <laughs> at the time watching this movie. Um, but, yeah... The kind of like seeing the final scenes that were added back in with the conversations with the alien. Um, hello, text message. <laughs> when you record on your phone, um, was it uh, got a little hokey to me in the morning. You know what? It did. It was their message ended up being not anything kind of like you hope for something really profound, and mm -hmm. it was humorous in a way, but it was just a little too corny. I was like, oh, I waited thirty years for that. Uh, they could have left it out. <laughs> well, the one thing where it wasn't <coughs> corny to me, in here. It, and that was the thing of, yeah, we could be destroyed at any point, mm -hmm. at any time. And uh, I really liked the thing about how we were how we were saved. Okay. Yeah, you they know. saved us from ourselves, basically. Spoiler yeah. alert. Yeah. <laughs> so. Or we saved us from ourselves. Yeah, yeah. But uh, <coughs> this movie, and you know, watching this movie, it's what thirty years old at least. Yes. Um, comparing it to a lot of movies now, comparing it to something like The Creator, which was a new sci-fi movie that came out this year. Yes. And seeing the difference when you have a you have that you have a technically skilled um, filmmaker, like yes. the creator. But he doesn't understand character, building characters and personalities yes. and their interactions and how that's really interesting. Doesn't quite right. have that. And you see this movie and you're just like like riveted by their, you know, the, what they're all going through. Mm -hmm. And so um, James Cameron does a great job with that. Uh, yeah. Especially earlier in his career. Yes. <laughs> it's diminishing its returns now, but... Yeah. Um, so uh, let's talk about performances in this movie. It stars Ed Harris, Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio, who 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 is Italian, Peter. I I thought she was a light skinned black woman. I know her hair wasn't too off of mine, <laughs> but no, she's Italian. She's one of them. She's maybe she got some of the, uh, the more. <laughs> she's like the more the dark Italians or something. I don't know. Yeah. But um, uh, Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio, uh, Michael Bean. As the crazy, uh, um, the crazy military guy who's was in a lot of James Cameron movies. Yeah, he was in Ter Terminator, main character in Terminator, mm -hmm. memorably. And this is one of my favorite performances of his. I thought he did a great job playing crazy. 
<laughs> yeah, he's got that crazy down pat. He got, he got that crazy down pat, and it, it's kind of a pleasure to see him, you know. Um, it's, uh, yeah, the, it's watching this is like, how did they film this? And <laughs> one of those movies is like, it's yeah. crazy to think of. And it was, it's legendary for, uh, legendary, it's known for how difficult this movie was filmed. I think they went to South Carolina and found an abandoned nuclear plant mm -hmm. that they could have large enough tanks to do right, these to underwater water. sets. Yes. Yeah, and they had to do all kinds of stuff. There's a, I think, there's a YouTube channel. It's like how how uh, the filming of the abyss was a shit show because this guy does mm -hmm. a bunch of the uh, <laughs> videos about that. So it's yes. fun to visit that. Uh, Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio will not talk about this movie. Wow. at all since it she, it's it traumatized her that much she will well, not speak about be, this movie because another Jane Cameron movie was uh, um, Titanic right you worked on the models for that yeah. yes yeah. and the thing was most the water scenes for the most part was digital right right so, so this was before I mean they were this movie was, was revolutionary yeah. for it's doing a CG effect mm -hmm. Um, and the whole water <coughs> tentacle, they call that. <laughs> yes. And it still looks pretty good, considering, you know. It's yes. Still, it, uh, it, it looks really well. Mm -hmm. um, so, to me, a lot of the looks, I saw a lot of the the haziness or stuff okay. that. Yeah, we're getting on that, to the effects now. Huh? Right. Um, but I was amazed at the story. Mm -hmm. Um and like you had mentioned, with the creator, the yeah. story the story wasn't as tight. It wasn't as interesting. It wasn't. But yeah. the, they didn't the, have enough. The technical side was, was beautiful, on point. Right. Whereas back then, with the abyss, the technical side. Um, well, a lot of this holds up still. I mean, yes. there's something so, like at the end too, the models and all that kind of mm -hmm. obviously. Some stuff you can. There's a few scenes that don't. Right. Mainly the above water stuff that doesn't hold up. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but well. anyway, regardless, I I, re I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Getting back to the performances like Ed Harris's greatness, mm -hmm. Mary Elizabeth Monster Antonio, just knockout performances. Just you know, and they they're surrounded by enough you know characters, interesting mm -hmm. characters to add color to the ensemble, you know, yeah. you believe them as a working group. You yeah, know, you sure her name is, isn't Liz Johnson? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, there's uh, Liz Johnson. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something and I can't come back on that. All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, it's not. Wait, the parking slot's clearing up, so okay. well, we all, we're almost able to back out, but we've got a movie to talk about here um, at Sunset at SoFi uh, yeah so great performance Michael Bean I've already mentioned his uh, probably one of his best performances I've ever seen mm -hmm. I don't think he's like the greatest actor but he was just damn good in this um, yes it, oh. um, I thought the acting was on point mm -hmm. yeah, yeah for this and the, the drama uh, that they yes. presented I, and I know that I think at the time that this James Cameron was writing this, and this was like one of his first stories he ever mm -hmm. wrote that he finally got to make into a movie, yes. but he was going through a divorce with Gail Ann Hurd, who had been his producing partner and wife for a long time. Mm -hmm. So I think that probably he was going through a divorce, so this mm -hmm. the tension between Ed Harris and his, you know, this he and his wife, Mary Elizabeth Mastrantoni, were separated. Mm -hmm. and. He channeled all that in, into this, you know. You can kind of really feel that. <laughs> well, I know I felt something. You felt I was something. going. I, there, there, I'm glad you told me there was something going on. There was something going on with him mm -hmm. that I think it, it fed into why um, well, a lot of this. Well, it really helped the, the writing movie. in this. Really, it really helped the movie. And um, I and I really yeah. I really like the the uh, the way the warhead was. 
mm -hmm. was intertwined into this, into this drama. It, it was like just a, really like good. You could have cut the aliens out of this completely. <laughs> yes. And it would have been a really great movie. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the, I, I do appreciate the kind of like humanity, cut that out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of message. You guys got to stop being assholes and warring and fighting with each right. other. But like I said, it's expanding upon that. In this director's edition just made it really kind of it, it was really corny they could have left it out <laughs> they left it out leaving it out originally was a good idea to me mm -hmm. although I and some of the other scenes they did act add back in they but, had some they, but then they, it, yeah. leaving that in or bringing bringing that you know uh, full circle uh -huh. actually pointed back to the warhead that's true it's like that's true yeah, see, it, it see does. What you're doing? Yeah, it does. Um, and you've never seen the original cut, where it's yeah. I I I'm I'm kind of yeah. torn between the original cut. I do appreciate some of the character moments they added back in, but the alien moments just don't work for me. Um, uh, any other thoughts on the abyss? I'm glad the way it it ended up in this new cut. Because in the old cut, then again, that's to show you how it was. I was I was ready to throw a rock at it. You were ready to throw it when you first saw it. You're yeah. like, what is but this? this time I was more, oh, <laughs> see. So okay. I was calmed down. So. We won you over. Yeah. Because like I said, this was always one of my favorite movies. Probably back then it would have been like a top ten for me. Now it's you know it's been pushed down the list, but still one of my favorites. Yes. I, I still really think there's the good parts of it are like just really really good. They are. And the bad parts of it are eh, they're all right. You know. Eh. They're they're okay. They're, they're still right. tolerable. So. Okay. Anyway, that's the abyss. Uh, the 4K version is available for uh, streaming. You can buy it on you know whatever platform is selling it. Um, or rent it. Mm -hmm. uh, check it out. Leave your thoughts in the comments. There you uh, go. There you go. That's and we are out we are from out. SoFi. We're like literally out because I think we can. I think I can start the car. Yes. And get home in about five minutes. Okay. <laughs> We're out. There you go. Peace we out. are out.